Okay, another truly bizarre little plane. Uh, this one, I think, came out at the same job lot as the little balsa gull. Uh, but it was more complete. The balsa gull, I, I had to put my own motor and things in. This, I think, came with... Uh, it came with a motor and, uh, and servos and things. It's a bit odd, to say the least. Well, apart from anything else, it looks like a tiny little lightweight foam 3D plane. But it's actually quite heavy because it's got, un I didn't put it on, it's got wood on the front and it's got undercarriage and it's got a fairly big motor on it. Uh, it's got an 8 amp ESC in it, so um, it's not, you know, it's not, my, it's not super lightweight, really. Uh, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to persuade this thing to fly. I did again, I seem to remember I've flown it once. Don't remember what battery I used. Um, I don't even... I don't know. I was trying to see what the motor's doing there. It doesn't need any further arming, apparently. It's armed, it's ready to go as far as it's ever going to be. <laughs> well, at the moment it seems to be reduced to being a ground vehicle. Throttle cut on. High rate. It can't work up enough speed over the grass to take off. Throttle cut on. No. And I don't think it did before, which makes having an undercarriage rather redundant, really. So, can we hand launch it? I don't seem to have much power. Um, uh, maybe I've got too heavy a battery in it, but then again, it's, you know, the problem is it's an 8 amp ESC. If I put much lighter a battery in it, I can't get it up at all. It's just got no power. It's got like no power. But, uh... The problem is if I put a lighter battery in, well, I could take the undercarriage off, I suppose, since the undercarriage isn't really doing much blithering, but it's certainly not flying like a 3D plane. I can't hardly get it to go up at all. Well, whoops, try not to fly it into the fences. I'm thinking, I'm wondering if, uh, Maybe this battery's not very good. Try it with a different battery. I mean, it flew, but yeah, it just has like no power light. So this battery's heavier, so if the problem was weight, it's gonna be worse. But on the other hand, this battery can supply more power. This is a 1200. Famous last words. Oh, gotta take throttle cut off. Throttle cut off. Yes. <laughs> Well, that wasn't wet there. Who flew it right into the long grass? I thought, I thought I was getting away with that, but then I flew into that clump of long grass. Ooh, grass is not the word, is it? That's nasty. I don't know what that is. It's whoa. It's tough weed. Seriously tough weed, that is. We've flown into there. Oh. Yeah, we, 
we tied ourselves right into a really tough piece of weed there. Now I've got a smaller battery in now that's not going to run it for very long because it's only a 430 but it's a lot lighter. I don't know how it's supposed to fly honestly you know I really don't know what you're supposed to do with it really. Oh, give me a break. Really? It won't even go up like that. I mean, that should fly it for a minute or two and it should be able to go up, you'd think, with that on. Ugh, break the nose off if I'm not careful. I don't know, it really doesn't seem to have any thrust to speak of. No. Well, that won't fly it at all, will it? The closest was the middle one. The thousand, which at least we'll flew One more try. And he's got like a smallish 1200 shoved further back to try and, not that I like tail heavy planes, but just to try and help him go up a little bit more, maybe, I don't know. This will give more power, but we're back to more weight. Well, definitely a lot more power. I don't know. See, it seems like... Oh, it, seem, it seems like if I put anything on... Uh, now I'm going to try it with a 3-cell. I've got a 950 milliamp hour 3-cell in it. The motor and the ESC are both rated for a 3-cell. I thought I threw it last year on a two cell, but who knows? Let's see if we can fly it on a three cell. Whoa! Oh, really, I'm getting fed up with planes that, that explode. Really? I'm fed up with planes that explode when I try and fly them. Uh. Bah! I don't know, I guess he touched the ground with his propeller. He, he started to lift or something, tilt forward, touched the ground with his propeller, and that broke the whole front of the plane off. Uh, tried to take it off from the ground with a three cell yesterday and exploded spectacularly and ripped its nose off, I suspect, because... Uh, uh, I'm just seeing what the control surfaces look like. A bit of wind now as well from the east. I don't know. So I don't feel like risking trying to take him off on the ground again because I think probably the prop struck the ground. Probably what happened was the prop struck the ground and it just ripped the front of the plane apart because these wheels are... You know, they're kind of springy. I think it went down too far. I don't know, it certainly, unless it was just because the front end was weak, but it ripped the front end off. So let's see if I can hand launch him and fly him with a three cell. It's only got more power. Oh yes. He certainly got a lot more power with a three cell. I think I must have thrown him with a three cell before. I mean, he's not exactly overflowing with power, even with the three cell, but it's certainly more like uh, something than with the two cell. The two, none of the two cells, I couldn't get any kind of, you know, authority. Honestly, he doesn't want to go up all that much, even with a three cell. And there's a quite a bit, a little bit of wind from the east here. Well, and he's, you know, like, he's a foamy. But I don't, I don't know who built him and what for. I think someone's scratch built him. I don't think he's any kind of kit. It looks more as if someone's just scratch built him. Like uh, that soft white. Although he's got a, a transfer for the, for the cockpit and things and some other transfers. So maybe he was a kit, I don't know. 
but uh, the body is made out of that really feeble white foam that breaks as soon as you look at it. And that's got a very odd undercarriage in. These things usually don't have undercarriages much at all. He's got a very odd undercarriage on him. Well, this is sort of the second time he's flown. Third time, if you count the very feeble circuit I managed to get off him with a two cell. I can't say as I feel like he is deeply usefully in control or anything, but... Be happier if there was no wind. You can see he's really drifting in the wind. Well, the wind's getting up a bit from the east now, and he's really, uh, because he's sort of light and whatever, he's really, see, then he goes fast when he goes downwind, but you bring him back upwind, he's sort of drifting. Uh, the timer is meaningless, because I have no idea what you're going to get out of this battery. It's a 95 milli... Uh, not much, I don't think. It seems we're running out of power. Well, <laughs> nearly hit the fence there. I think we were running out of power there. It's only a 0.95 uh, amp. 90, 95, 950 milliamp hour three cell. I think we were... We were running out of power there at the end. Yeah, no, I was lucky not to hit that fence. Well, these come, the thing is, he's, he's not that light to start with, and then when you put the, you know, nine, I don't think you can put a bigger battery in, really, because even with that battery, it's, it's pretty heavy. I don't know. He's barely, he's flyable, but barely so. I expect, uh, I expect that was what I did before when I flew him, flew him with a three cell. I must have done, because he be, he doesn't fly, he can, you can, you know, He's very sensitive to the size of the two cell, and even with the, the, the best two cell I could balance him with, you could barely keep him in the air right off the bat because he didn't have enough power. Anyway, after three days of trying, we did at least sort of get him in the air and fly him a bit. And I mean, he just came in a job lot of things with like half a dozen vague planes like this, some of which work better than others.